Hey friends, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're gonna to talk about perimeter and we're gonna solve problems with unknown measurements. So we're gonna to have to kind of use um, some of our analyzing skills to be able to figure out some of those unknown measurements. So our learning goal for today says, I can use all four operations to solve problems involving perimeter and unknown measurements. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board. Okay, so make sure you have that before we get started. All right, today we're gonna to start off with our application problem. Okay, so this question says, Gil places two regular hexagons side by side to make a new shape. Each side measures six centimeters. Find the perimeter of his new shape. So here's the shape that Gil made. And remember, it says that each side measures, measures six centimeters. So here's your picture to get you started. So I want you guys to pause the video, solve this problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here we go. Two hexagons have 12 sides, so 12 times six is the way that we're gonna solve this problem. Oh, how about no? Okay, so why no? Because this part right here, where these two sides touch each other, we don't measure those as part of our perimeter. Okay, so when we combine those two hexagons, we lose two of the sides. So let's count to see what I mean. Okay, so here we have one, two, three, you can count with me, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So we have 10 sides. So really now we're doing 10 times six, which represents our six centimeters. And friends, what's 10 times six? 60, yeah, you got it. So the perimeter of gill shape is 60 centimeters. Okay, so just remember when we're doing perimeter, you don't count any of those inside parts. It's just the outside part of a shape, okay? All right, so let's get started with our lesson for today. So here we have this shape. Can you visualize the rectangles that make up this shape? So kind of think in your mind, if you could draw a line to split this into two rectangles, where might you draw a line to visualize two rectangles. So pause the video, think about that for a second, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, here's what I came up with. So I could draw a line here. Did any of you think about drawing a line there? So we could have a, a tall rectangle and then a shorter one on the side. Okay, maybe some of you did. What about here? Did anybody draw a rectangle or a line here? Yeah, you could absolutely draw one there too. Okay, so those are both ways that you could have split this shape up into visualizing it as two rectangles. So let's find the perimeter of this shape. So say the side length as I point to it. Okay, so here I'm gonna point to this one. You would say how many centimeters? Yeah, three centimeters. Okay, so how much for this one? Two centimeters. One centimeter? Five centimeters? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that one is, right? It's not labeled. Okay, so because it's not labeled, let's label it as side A, and then we'll use our unit of measure of centimeters. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure that out. That's an unknown side right now. All right, what about this one? Hmm, oh man, I don't know this one either, right? Because it's not labeled, it's the unknown side length. So we're gonna label that as B centimeters. So we're gonna have to think back to how we visualize the rectangles fitting together to make this shape, okay? So I want you to think back to that and see how can, can that maybe help us solve this problem. So remember, this was one of the ways, right? So let's talk about how we can use these parts to help us figure out the perimeter. So how does this line help you find those unknown side lengths? I want you to pause the video and I want you to think about that. Think about how can splitting those shapes up, how can that help us find our unknown side lengths? You don't have to solve anything, I just want you to think about it. All right, friends, pause if you need more time to think. Otherwise, let's talk about it together, okay? All right, so we know that opposite lengths, opposite side lengths are equal, which will help us find the unknown side lengths. Oh, such a good idea. Okay, so let's use that. So we're gonna use the bottom rectangle to find the side length of the dashed line. Okay, so I want you guys to pause the video and I want you to try that. Okay, so we know, let me back it up here. 
you know that the bottom length is five centimeters, okay? And we know that part of the top line with the dashed line is two centimeters. So I want you to think about how could you figure that out? How could you figure out what that dashed line, uh, the length is? So pause the video, think about that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Otherwise, let's talk about it. So here we have five centimeters, and we know that this side has to be equal, right? Because the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal to each other. So if I know that one side is five centimeters, the other side has to be five centimeters as well. Well, I know that part of it is two centimeters. So I'm gonna do five centimeters minus two centimeters. And if I subtract out that two centimeters, that's gonna give me my dashed line. Okay, so friends, what's five minus two? Yeah, three centimeters. So now I know this part of my side of my measurement is three centimeters. All right, so how does this help us find the value of A? Okay, I want you to pause the video and I want you to think about that. How does knowing that that dashed line is three centimeters help us figure out the side length of A? So pause the video, think about that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so if we know the dashed line is the opposite side of A, so A is three, two, remember? Because we know the opposite sides are equal. So now I'm gonna take away this unknown side length and I'm gonna add in three centimeters. Oh, smart thinking. All right, so look at the side lengths of, for the top rectangle, okay? So we're looking at this rectangle right here, okay? All right, so we know that the three side lengths are three centimeters, right? What does that tell us about the fourth side? Yeah, it tells us that it has to be three centimeters too because it's a square, so all the side lengths are equal, okay? So does that mean that B is three too? Absolutely not. No way, right? It doesn't because we have to add on the side length from the bottom of the rectangle to find the total length of B. So we know that this part right here is three centimeters. Okay, but we need to find that yellow part. So we know that the blue part is three centimeters and we know that the yellow part is unknown right now. So we have to find out that part to be able to figure out the total length of B. All right, so I want you to pause the video and I want you to try and find the total length of B. Okay, so pause, solve for the total length of B, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so notice how I drew in those two yellow lines because the opposite sides are equal. So if the side on the right that's yellow is one centimeter, then the side on the left has to be one centimeter. So I'm gonna draw an arrow here. Oh, sorry, not yet. I wanna see that if we know that the green side is three and the yellow side is one, so four, or sorry, three plus one equals four centimeters. And I could draw an arrow right here to represent that that's the entire length of that side, okay? So we're not just doing part of it. Like right now we have kind of three labeled in there and one, well, we don't wanna get confused. So whenever you see an arrow and wherever it starts and stops, that's the part that it's referring to. So the total length of the left side is four centimeters. So now that we know all of the side lengths, we can find the perimeter of the shape. Okay, so remember, we're not measuring this part right here because that's the inside. We only needed that measurement to help us figure out the outside measurements. Okay, so leave that part alone when you're finding your perimeter. Okay, so I want you to write a number sentence including the unit, so that would be three centimeters plus, okay, that shows the perimeter of this shape. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. I want you to find the perimeter, write your number sentence and solve it, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so we're gonna add these around, okay? And I'm gonna draw a line just so you see where my measurements are coming from. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way around. My work my way around. All right, so we have five centimeters plus one centimeter 
plus 2 centimeters, plus 3 centimeters, plus 3 more centimeters, plus 4 centimeters equals, and then friends, what's the total perimeter? 18 centimeters. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Now, friends, another way that you could have done this is you could have maybe used some multiplication to help you solve this problem if you wanted to. You could have done instead of 3 plus 3, you could have done 3 times 2 and then added that in there. But if you just want to add those measurements straight across, that is absolutely fine as well. All right, so let's find the perimeter of this shape. Ooh. Okay. So I want you to draw this shape on your board and label the missing side lengths with letters. Remember how last time we did A and B? So this time you can use those same letters again. Now, this does not have to be exact measurements, so you don't have to bust out a ruler and draw this, okay? You just want it to be kind of similar to my drawing, okay? But I don't want you to solve it yet. All you're doing is drawing the shape and labeling the missing side with letters, okay? So go ahead and do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so I'm missing this side length right here. So I'm gonna label it A with inches. I'm missing this part right here, so I'm gonna label it B with inches. And then I'm also missing this side length here, so I'll label that with C with inches. Okay, so those should be the measurements that you have labeled. So you should have three unknown side lengths for this problem. Okay. Now let's find the unknown side lengths. So I want you guys to pause the video. You're gonna think about what do I know about rectangles, right? Opposite sides are equal from each other. Keep that in mind as you're trying to solve for A, B, and C for those unknown side lengths. Okay, so pause the video, solve for A, B, and C, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so we know that opposite sides are equal. So if both of these side lengths are equal, then A is now three inches. Okay, that one was kind of an easier one to figure out, right? So now we need to look at these two sides. Well, they're opposite from each other. So that means that C is going to be two inches. Now B is the one that's gonna be a little bit more work for us to think about, okay? Now we know that these three sides in yellow make the straight line across of five inches inches. So I'm going to add up my two side lengths that I do know, which is two plus two, right? And then if I added B in there, that would give me the total side length on the bottom. But I don't know that yet. So I'm just going to do two plus two. Well, I know that equals four. Well, the total needs to be five. So I have to think in my head like five minus four equals one. So that means that B is one inch. So now if I added up all of those sides, like two, si two inches on the bottom, both of those two inches is four, plus my new one inch is five. So then the bottom would be five inches and so would the top. So then those side lengths um, are all now known. We now know every side length in our problem. Awesome. Good job with that one, friends. So now that we know all of the side lengths, we can find the perimeter of the shape. So you guys are going to write a number sentence, including the units that shows the perimeter of this shape. So pause the video, find the perimeter, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here's my number sentence. Whew, that was a lot, right? Okay, so we just went around. I started at the top, I went five inches, then I went around to the right, and I just moved my finger along the perimeter. I will say that is one good trick so you don't forget to write something down, is take your finger and trace around that perimeter, and every side that you go by, stop and write it down real quick. Okay, because sometimes it's easy to maybe forget that one inch there in the middle. But if you're tracing your finger around that perimeter, that's going to help so you don't forget. Okay, friends, so what's your final answer for the perimeter of this shape? Yeah, it's 20 inches. Awesome job with that one, friends. All right, so now you guys are going to draw the shape below and find the missing side lengths. Then write a number sentence including units that shows the perimeter of the white shape. So, friends, all you're really missing here is this side length and this side length. Okay, that's what you need to be able to find to solve this problem. Okay, so pause the video, 
go ahead and start all the way at the beginning. You're doing this one on your own and then we'll check in all the way at the end. So find those missing side links, write your number sentence and then solve for the perimeter and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so we need to find our unknown side length, which is here and here. Okay, let's start with this one first. So we know that these two yellow lines would equal the bottom perimeter or the bottom length of eight meters. So we know that one side is four, one side is eight. So we know what numbers, what number can I add to four to equal eight? Yeah, four, right? So if we didn't want to add on, you could do eight minus four and then you would still get four. Okay, so now we need to find this side length. Well, I know that if I add this side length and this side length, it gives me the total length on the right side. Well, I know that opposite sides are equal, so that would have to be equal to our left side. Well, I know that the total is four and this side over here is one, so I could subtract four minus one equals three. So then that would give me my unknown side length of three. Okay. All right, so here's my number sentence to solve and find the perimeter of just the white shape. So I would add four meters plus three meters plus four meters plus one meter plus eight meters plus four meters. Oh, it's kind of like a tongue twister. And we would know that that equals 24 meters. Now you could also use multiplication to solve this problem if you wanted to, because notice how I have three fours in this problem, okay? Or even if I have three plus one, that makes another four. So really I could do four times four plus eight more to equal 24. Now, do you have to solve it that way? No, but if your mind sees that, um, that connection and wants to make that connection to multiplication, then go ahead and do it. That's okay too, okay? So awesome job solving that one, friends. All right, your guys' skills with perimeter is off the charts. You guys are doing awesome. So well done solving problems involving the perimeter and unknown measurements. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. <laughs>